Hi, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's episode, we'll be continuing the project of the router table uh, extension for my table saw. Mainly in today's episode, we'll be making some storage solutions for this box, dust extraction and installing a safety switch on the side. Check out the video. Right then, so the first job on the agenda is to install the safety switch I've actually bought for this project. Now, I will be using different types of routers in this um, router table attachment for my table saw. So I want a bit of flexibility. Now, the switch will go on the side here. As for me, this is the most convenient place to put this. One of the wires that's going to go into the outlet in the wall whereas the uh, cable that goes to the uh, router itself i'm actually going to install a socket inside of the box and i'm going to wire that to the socket that way i can easily uh, plug in any router i want in the future so future proofing a little bit and um, this particular project so let's go and do that now First of all, we need to remove um, the router and the router plate to get access to the inside of the box and that's nothing in the way. I'm just marking the place where the switch needs to go, protruding some holes and then attaching it to the box. The back of the socket, I'm just making a hole for the wires to go through. And I'm pre-drilling a hole for the wires in the box as well. Uh, marking where the socket will go, pre-drilling some holes and attaching everything together. I don't want any hanging wires, I'm using a special bracket for some zip wires and I'm just zipping the wires together so they're out of the way. Okay, I've got everything connected, let's see if it works. Perfect. All works as it should. And a bonus factor, we can store the power cable on the table saw and tidying up that cable as well as we did before. Now it's time to turn our attention to the storage solutions I've got in place for this project. I'm cutting 12mm plywood, it's all reclaimed. One of the dividers that will go inside of the box, it needs to have a notch cut out to allow the cable movement. And I'm just continuing cutting all the pieces that I need for the drawers. As I'm not using any metal drawer sliders, um, I'm using basically some wooden ones to reduce the amount of friction. I'm just using some brads to hold the drawers together and after that I'm gonna secure them with some screws. With the drawers ready I'm just placing them in the correct position and adding the divider inside and securing it with screws from top and bottom. One of the drawers will um, house my router bits and for the base for them I'm actually using 18mm MDF which I'm going to pre-drill some uh, quarter inch holes for the router bits to go into. The other drawer will have some storage compartments and again cutting all the required pieces, the runners etc. So that's the storage box that's going to go in one of the um, drawers. Again, simple way of connecting everything. I'm just using some brads and then come back with screws. And again, I'm making some runners inside of the drawers for the storage compartment and later on um, for the shelves with the router bits. I'm using some spaces to make sure I'm in the right position for the second shelf. One trick that I've used was a folded piece of paper on each side so I don't have too much of a friction with the drawers. Now pre-drilling millions of holes. Here I'm using a 30mm force bit to create a space for my fingers in those storage boxes so I can pull them out easily. Now the bottom shelf in the drawer that houses the router bits 
I want it to be able to stop on itself and don't come out fully, hence I'm using some stoppers. In the same manner I'm gonna secure the drawer that houses the storage boxes so just it doesn't fall out on its own basically. Through the top I'm just installing a notch that I can remove whenever I want to take the drawer out fully. And now it stops as it should without falling out. With the second box as it is larger and I've got less scope, what I'm actually doing I'm cutting with my router, straight router bit, um, notches on each side in total four of them and I'm gonna install uh, two bolts through the sides and that will be my way of stopping the drawer from coming out fully. Now I'm cutting 18mm chipboard that's veneered that will work as our fronts for the drawers. Also we need some handles, I'm using a basically a leftover cutoff um, from an old project. It's all hardwood, cutting 45 degrees on it, very simple but effective. And obviously cutting it to the right size. I'm using the double sided tape trick to put the front on. But before I'm going to secure it with screws and the handles, I'm just giving them a quick sand. Securing the handles, but also I wanted to add some extra strength, so I've added a few screws for good measure so the front won't come off. Now I'm just waxing everything so there's nice smooth movement in the drawers and in the compartments inside. To make sure that the drawers don't come out on their own or when moving the saw itself, I'm actually going to be using some magnets, prudering the holes and using CA glue to um, attach the magnets. I'm doing that on the table and obviously in the drawers. I've also repeated this for the middle drawer where the router sits. Now the magnets will be the only thing that's holding the middle drawer to the bench and I wanted to have some extra stability and I've added a ledge. So hopefully vibrations will not affect this drawer. And yes, the magnets, although small, they are fairly strong. Now, as you remember, at the bottom of the box where the router sits, there's actually a hole and I want to make a dust trap there and pull all the dust that will head into there through my vacuum. So uh, this dust trap will have a hole in it through which I will put my um, vacuum hose and hopefully that will remove as much dust as possible, installing that with L-shaped brackets. I'm using a um, BVC three-way connector. It's a little bit too wide for my hoses, but I managed to find some adapters for the hoses I've got. It's definitely not the best way as you've got hoses that are smaller diameter going into this PVC uh, freeway connector that is actually larger so there could be some dust blockage in there but for now that is my best solution here so I'm just installing the hose from the bottom to the freeway connector and the second hose from the fence as well and then into my vacuum. And I'm securing that with the uh, same attachments I did before uh, with some cable ties. Okay, let's test it a little bit to see if it actually works. From the fence, there seemed to be a good solid amount of dust extraction, which is good. And now let's do a bit of routing here to see if I'm going to be sprayed with dust. 
and as you can see it's actually not too bad with the straight bit you always get a bit of leftover at the top but inside of the box there's actually no dust at all and later on I had a look inside of the dust trap that's located um, underneath that and it was empty as well Right then, so as you have seen, the dust extraction seems to be working fairly well, at least better than it was before. But there's a lot more testing for me to do to actually be sure that this system is fine and it's doing what it should be doing. But um, you can be assured that I will let you know after more testing, more projects, how this is actually doing and what improvements, if any, I had to do. So uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that update. I really like the easy access to the inside where the router is. And as you've seen, there was actually no dust in there. So that's fairly good. Easy to close, easy to open, and it's actually fairly solid. Same with the drawers, no issues there. I've not actually decided fully what um, bits and pieces I want to have in these drawers. Really like the storage, especially for the bits. Really nice, easy, accessible, straight away there. But obviously the drawers would be so much better if they were on metal runners or something like that. Unfortunately, the project is not wide enough for the full extension uh, runners to be installed here. Hence, that's what I had to do in this case. Plus you need to consider that you're adding a lot of weight with the runners to this box. And I'm gonna show you in a second why that's a problem. So obviously the drawers are not perfect because it fully extended, they will sag. Unfortunately, that's the way it is in this case. They're not gonna fall out anything like that. And for me, at the minute, that will do. But if you've got some extra cash and you're gonna be able to find runners that fit this box and they extend full way, then sure, why not use them? There will be a question somewhere in the comments. How about if I'm moving the whole thing about, will the drawers come out on their own? Let's have a look. Well, nothing is falling out, which is good. Now, the bad thing I've actually noticed about this design, because there is so much weight on this side, there is a slight problem. When you put a bit more pressure on it, it actually leans towards you, which is not good at all. That is a major issue and we definitely don't want that. So this is an issue that we need to resolve as it can potentially be very dangerous. So what I'm thinking I'm actually going to do, I'm going to add two legs on each side that will be on hinges. So when not in use, when I need to move it about, I just fold it inside and off I go. When the router's in use, unfold them and they will rest on the floor. Now, in this case, I actually measured it up and the length of the legs will be absolutely perfect to the floor from the box so they will not stick outside of the box. Bonus there. So that's one thing I'm going to improve with this particular project, but that will come probably in a form of a short YouTube video for you just to check out. All in all, I'm actually quite pleased with the whole project and I hope it gave you some inspiration of what you could possibly do in your workshop. But let's check if it actually will fold up. works just fine but for me guys that's all thank you so much for your time thank you for watching take care